Hi everyone, I'm Miss Emily and welcome to the first virtual summer steam of the season. Today we'll be taking the aluminum foil boat challenge. It's a classic science experiment that is really simple and super fun and can appeal to a wide range of ages from kindergartners to fifth and sixth graders. So uh, what do you need for this experiment? Well, it, we're making aluminum foil boats, so we definitely need some aluminum foil. Uh, we're going to need a bowl or a container to conduct our experiment in, and we need pennies, Legos, or game pieces. So pennies are traditionally used in this experiment, uh, but if you don't have enough pennies, you could use Legos or game pieces. You just want to make sure that the pieces you use are the same size and weight for consistency. I'd also recommend having a piece of paper and a pencil handy. This is optional, but because you're going to want to make multiple boats, it's a good idea to keep track of how each attempt went. So how much weight the boat was able to carry, um, how many pennies, and uh, what changes you made to the design of the boat as you go along, such as maybe changing its length, or uh, the thickness of the base, or even the shape. So our objectives for today are to design an aluminum foil boat that will hold as much weight as possible. Uh, we want to improve our understanding of buoyancy, which I will get to in just a minute. And of course, we want to have some fun. It's a really fun experiment. Uh, you can take this activity in a few different directions. You can decide to just go ahead and make the biggest, best, boat possible that will hold the most weight without sinking right away, or you can uh, make a few different boats with the same size piece of aluminum foil and test to find which of your boats uh, was the strongest. Uh, if you're at home with family, it might be fun to have a competition to see who can make the strongest boat and then talk about the design of the winning boat and why it was the strongest. And now I'm just going to very, very briefly explain some of the key concepts that you'll be exploring uh, during this activity. All right, so what is buoyancy? Buoyancy is an upward force. It's pressure that is exerted by a gas or fluid. But buoyancy, uh, and especially in this instance, can also refer to how well objects float or sink. So if an object or a boat floats, we would consider it to be buoyant. And if you've ever asked yourself why some big heavy objects float while some small light objects sink, you'll want to consider density. Density is basically the amount of mass or stuff something has a relative to its volume. A volume would mean the amount of space an object occupies or takes up. For instance, if you threw a ring and a soccer ball into a pool, the soccer ball would float because it is less dense and is filled with air, even though it may be the larger and heavier object. Because the ring is so dense, it sank. So the last thing I want to mention uh, very briefly is displacement. So here I have two glasses. Uh, look where the water line is on the glass on the left. Now look at the water line on the right where that pink arrow is. The water had to make room for the dinosaur, so the water level went slightly up. Uh, the, the dinosaur pushed water out of the way and pushed it out and up. This will happen when you add pennies or mass to your aluminum foil boats. The water levels in your container will increase. They will get higher. So displacement and density are two important factors to consider. Obviously, you don't need to incorporate these terms into your experiment, but you might want you might recognize some of them along the way, which is why I wanted to mention them. And now that we have a little bit of background, I think we can move on to constructing our first boat. So let's get started. Making a boat out of aluminum foil is really fun and pretty simple. Uh, there are lots of different ways you can do it. Um, I right here have a sheet of tin foil that's about 12 inches by nine inches, but you don't have to stick to that. 
Um, you do want to make sure though that if you are trying to challenge someone, if you have two people and you want to make see who can make the strongest boat, you are going to want to make sure that you each have uh, a piece of tin foil that is the same size. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I would go about folding it, but feel, please feel free to experiment. So I'm going to start off by just folding the piece of tin foil in half. And then I'm just going to turn it in half again and fold it again. And then what I like to do is kind of fold up the corners and just make sure those are pressed down. Okay. Uh, and now I can start uh, making the sides of my boat. So I'm just going to pull some of the foil up. You do want to make sure um, that you have good sides because you don't want the, the water to enter the boat right away. So I wouldn't recommend trying to make a raft or anything. It's good to have sides uh, for this experiment, okay? So I'm just going to like keep going around and kind of crushing it together. It's not gonna look pretty, but it'll work. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna go around and make sure those sides are pretty snug. All right. And so now I have a boat that I can test. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. <laughs> My boat held 43 pennies. How many pennies can your boat hold? <laughs>